Sundance270 here. I'm a man of simple taste. You know this channel to be of the spicy variety, not in terms of drama and illicit talk, but no, hot sauce. And so, I've discovered something. Buffalo Pepsi. Does it need to exist? Thank you, Andrew Rains, for the inspiration for this next video. So I had to Google, I had to YouTube, I had to see for myself, what is this madness? Let us see. How to buffalo your Pepsi. Step one, order buffalo wings and Pepsi, because wings are way better with Pepsi. First of all, no, they're not. Pepsi's terrible. Step two, and here's the key, order extra buffalo sauce. Okay. Step three, pour a little of that sauce. Mix with celery. Celery needs to be shot into the surface of the sun. Unless eaten with peanut butter, it doesn't need to exist. What did they say online? It's water with hair, basically. Leave it in there for a little garnish. Step four, enjoy your new favorite drink. Is he even drinking that? <sighs> All right, secret menu time. Menu time. Three words. Blue cheese rim. Blue cheese is disgusting. This is wrong. I don't want to be right. You should be thrown in jail. The bottle just has buffalo written on it with a piece of tape. You couldn't advertise. Couldn't. Okay, we're going to try this. I don't know why. Step one. Your Pepsi. Coke over Pepsi all day. Mmm. I'll give it this. This is the zero sugar as advertised. I hope it tastes better. I've noticed kind of this. I've noticed that zero sugar uh, tends to be better tasting than some of the, uh, of, of all brands. Dr. Pepper, Coke, zero sugar just has a cleaner taste. So. Now, I went with the Frank's Red Hot because that was what was shown to me and the thing with the thing about stuff, it's not the point. Um, I'm a bigger fan of Melinda's Ghost Pepper Wing Sauce, but I would not dare taint such a beautiful sauce. This is going to look bad on Frank's Red Hot. Frank Red Hot's is pretty good. I've got nothing against them. They were a go-to for a while. Uh, but I like other buffalo wing sauces better, but we're going to try to recreate this abomination. Thickened celery. Stirred. Um, I don't have celery, so I'm going to use this pair of scissors. I'm sorry, hot sauce. I'm sorry I had to do this to you. I'll make it up to you later. This is simply a marketing tool, a tactic, to sell more of both of whatever. That was not good. You know what I'm going to do next? Since we're doing stupid. Watch me. Next video. We'll do it right now, will you chicken? Chicken like chicken noodle, screw it. Since we're being asinine, 
with our decisions because nobody actually drinks this. This is actually a really good soup, by the way. Hey, if you're paying attention, still, go get you some ghost pepper chunky chicken noodle. It's really good. Um, I'm gonna have to eat that later. It's okay. So we're going to enjoy a nice ghost pepper chicken chunky Pepsi. Here's your thumbnail, YouTube. Maybe it'll get me some clickbait. I need that sweet, sweet algorithm to pop off. Mmm, actually, it does smell better. You're not going to believe me, and you're going to have to try it for yourself. But if you're going to do this asinine Buffalo Pepsi thing, it's, te it's terrible. But if you add chicken noodle chunky ghost pepper soup, it tastes better. I'm not even lying. It actually tastes better. I actually don't mind it. I'm not even this is I'm not even capping as the kids say. It's actually better. It's actually better if you actually Oh my gosh, this is stupid. It's really good. I'm not even joking. No, I'm not remotely trolling. I'm not capping. I'm not trolling. This is not for clicks. That actually tastes kind of good. Um, I don't. I don't like trolls. I don't suffer trolls. I don't like. Uh, I, I don't like when people fake anything. I'm not faking it. It actually tastes better. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's the stupidest thing ever. Why, why does the internet even exist? <laughs> the, the collective wisdom of all of humanity at our fingertips. Everything you could ever want to know about anything. And this is what we've come to as the human as the human race is buffalo chicken pepsi chunky noodle <laughs> and it's actually good i don't even watch football uh, so mr josh allen if you're watching add some chunky chicken I, i'm telling you listen to me man add some chunky chicken pepper noodle juice just <laughs> I'm laughing because it's it's so funny that this is actually good. I'm not I'm not joking. Um No, I'm serious. Go try it. Not not trolling. I don't I don't like there. Got a nice lip burn going on. Oh, because here's the thing, the sweetness of the Pepsi actually complements that soup. The buffalo kind of disappeared underneath of it, so it's not as prominent. Um, and so this actually ended up being like a really nice, sweet, kind of pepper-based um, uh, concoction of horridness. I don't know how I'm going to. 
I don't want to pour that out. But this might be the dumbest thing I've ever drank, but it actually tastes good. So Bro, that's so cringe, bro. Okay. Okay, cool, whatever. You watched it, it helps me in the algorithm. If you're commenting, it's helping me. If you're gonna make fun of me, it's helping me. The best thing that you can do to get your... <coughs> to get your little feelings out, to get your endorphin rush for the day, harass a stranger on the internet because it's what we do or his stupid videos because it's what I make and the cycle continues I'm not even joking this is really good there got something to chew on on that one I'm getting none of them vegetables Excuse me. Not bad. Chunky buffalo Pepsi chicken ghost pepper noodle. It's a hit. Nice warm belly, too. <sighs> Not bad. Give it a shot. Oh, <laughs> 